I revisited Sam Huntington's The Clash of Civilizations uh, today and uh, here's my take. What he says is in the post-Cold War era, the distinctions amongst people are no longer ideological or political or even economic. He says that they are cultural. So in trying to answer the who are we question, people define themselves now in terms of their ancestry, in terms of their religion, the language, uh, their history, the values that they hold, the customs that they have inherited, uh, the institutions that surround them. So, so this leads him to, to the thesis that while it's true that nation states remain the principal actors in world affairs, their behavior is shaped by cultural preferences, commonalities and differences. So he says that we should not think in terms of nation states. It is better to think in terms of major civilization types. And he specifies six, uh, seven major civilizations. And he says that unless we hate what we are not, we cannot love what we are, which I thought was, uh, was, a bit, uh, was a bit too strong. So for people seeking identity, uh, reinventing ethnicity, reinventing enemies is essential. And that's because cultural identities are shaping the pattern of conflict in the world for the first time. For the first time, politics is global because we are living in a multipolar and in a multi-civilization world. And he says that the West is declining in relative influence. Asian civilizations are uh, expanding and they're expanding their economic, their military, their political uh, strengths. Islam is expanding in the sense that it is exploding demographically. So he says that a civilization based world order is emerging and societies are sharing cultural affinities more and more and these societies are the ones that are cooperating with each other these are societies that shun west the west's universalist pretensions and all of this is bringing into conflict a conflict within civilizations and the west is coming into a conflict with islam uh, and with china so he says that the survival of the West depends on the, them asserting their unique exceptionalism because the Western civilization is still very, very unique.